Hey guys, Jacob here from Off Leash Canine Training of Detroit. Today I have Toby. Toby is a poodle who comes to us uh, with hopes of being a service dog. Um, he is very easily distracted and he likes to mark on everything. Um, supposedly he's already been trained um, with you know puppy training and all that stuff. Uh, but with any distraction, he, he will not listen. He likes to really pull on a leash. As a service dog, he can't do that. Um, so over the next two weeks, we're going to just try and make him an all-around good dog, get him to stop marking on everything, and uh, make him bomb-proof. Let me show you if he knows come and sit and down. Um, come. Toby, come. Good boy, sit. Toby, come. Come. Toby, come. Sit. Good boy. Down. Good boy. He does take some while to get into his head space, but once you do, he knows the stuff. We just have to really make it bomb proof and him to listen on the first time. So check back in two weeks for his progress. Come on, Toby, let's go.
my name is Matthew Varnum, and this, this is Toby. He's a two-year-old standard poodle that joined our family when he was about nine weeks old with the goal of one day becoming my service dog. We've spent most of the past two years just developing an incredible bond and finding and fine-tuning new ways that Toby and I could partner together to become an even better team. Uh, during this time, we've also had the chance to work with a number of different trainers to help assist us on our journey. And each one's been helpful in helping us take it to the next level of learning, but we needed more. Well, Toby was really good at knowing and doing what I needed him to do for me and my needs. And though he had learned what he was supposed to do for the public access skills and commands, he wasn't always good at doing them. And I felt inadequate in helping him. I knew what we wanted to accomplish. I just didn't know how to accomplish it. I didn't feel I had the right tools for the job. But off-leash canine training changed all of that. After corresponding back and forth dozens of times with the trainers there and watching hundreds of videos online about the dramatic results they've been able to achieve, I signed us up for a two-week board and train with Jacob at Off Leash Canine in Detroit. And though it was a long time to be without my pal, I still felt like I was part of the whole process because every day I'd receive emails on what Toby was learning and how he was doing with pictures and videos of the whole thing. But he wasn't the only one in school. I was given instructional videos and how-tos of uh, what I needed to work on so that we'd be ready for the next level when we got back together. And when that day finally came, for Jacob to hand them off to me, we completed the training indoors at Lowe's. And after a quick orientation where Jacob showed me what Toby had learned and, and how to work with him, it was finally my turn. And, and we walked all around the store through a maze of carts and customers, past sights and sounds that normally would have distracted and detoured him and me. And we even worked together through some incredibly challenging situations that previously would have been impossible to make it through. I was amazed at the incredible transformation that had taken place in just two weeks. More than just knowing what to do, Toby was doing it consistently, spot on, off leash, regardless of the distraction. It was more than I had ever dared to even imagine. Jacob and the team at Off Leash Canine Detroit had done more than create another success story for themselves. They have rewritten our story for us. Toby's now more than just my pet. He's my partner. We're still growing and we're still learning, but we're able to do so now together with the training and tools necessary to not just know what to do, but to do it. To live our lives together, unleashed. Hey guys, Josh Wilson with Off Leash Canine Training. I hope you enjoyed another amazing dog put out by my team. Uh, across the country, we don't care about the breed, the size, the age, or the behavioral issue. We're going to make them awesome for you. If you're interested in seeing more videos like the one you just saw, click the image here on the screen. Also, I'd encourage you to check us out on Instagram and Facebook. And before you leave our channel, make sure you subscribe. So every time a new video comes up of another outstanding dog doing some crazy, amazing things, you're going to get notified in your email address. And for more information on other locations we have around the country, check us out at joshwilson.dog. Appreciate you so much for watching our channel. See you soon.